What's up, YouTube? Wow, I'm watching this fight, man. Lucas Brown versus uh, the Ruslan uh, Shigaev. And Lucas Brown, man, dude, this is like a total upset. Um, wow, man. Dude, this was like really praise Shigaev. <laughs> Shigaev got stopped TKO in the 10th round, bro. The tenth round, right? Oh man, this is great. It's like instant reaction. Uh, it's probably late in the day, man. I'm just watching this fight on my DVR. I'm thinking like I'm counting out Lucas Brown. I'm thinking like, wow, man, this is the heavyweights, bro. This is the heavyweights. All it takes is one punch, man. Look like Ruslan and Shigaev got like a little bit lax. He was using his jab, and Lucas Brown just got back to boxing. Um, he, he did try to fight, you know, fight it out, like, from the 6th to the 7th when he was, uh, in trouble, man. We got, I think he got knocked down in the 6th, and in the 7th round, he started just fighting, and I think, and then in the 8th, he got right back to, like, boxing, just sticking out his jab, you know, um, trying to, like, you know, look like he's setting up his right hand, Ruslan Sagaev, man, he just got caught. He just got caught. I think it was a straight right. You know, look at Lucas Brown is orthodox. Yeah, he got caught with a straight right. Um, Ruslan Shagaev, he's a southpaw. And that's all it took was one punch, man. He was in trouble, man. He was down. It was like, bam. Then Lucas Brown, he just got in there and he finished, man. He, I mean, he's got a high knockout ratio. As far as having a... Uh, excuse me. Let me put this on pause, man. As far as having a... Uh, Killer Instinct, I don't think he has it, man, uh, in the pre-fight, um, you know, they were talking about, uh, he was talking about his family and stuff like that, and so, not, not to say that he's like a soft guy, I think he's just, um, he doesn't, you know, he's got all these tattoos, but you know, my uncle, he says, he's like, uh, his philosophy, man, he got too many tattoos, you're gonna get, that guy's gonna lose, and the he he sort of got a point, man. He got sort of got a point because uh, maybe these guys are like compensating for something. It's like um, it's like Miguel Cotto and uh, certain other fighters. As soon as they get beat, uh, who was it? Uh, Mikael Kessler. As soon as he got, I think I think he could have sworn, man, after he lost his first fight, who was that against? Um, I forgot. I ain't got box right anyway. But anyway, man. I want to say it was, what's his name, man? Um, wasn't Carl Frock. I think it was Lucien Boutet or something like that. I think Lucien Boutet beat him, or uh, not Lucien Boutet. It was, uh, what's his name, man? Damn, I can't think of his name right now, man. But anyway, Mikel Kessler after his first loss, man. I forgot who that dude's name was, man. Um, 40 and 0. 40 and 0. Forgot the guy's name, but anyway, moving along, moving along. Um, damn, I gotta find out what his name was, man. But anyway, I'm gonna move along, man. I don't find out who Miguel, uh, Mikael Kessler, uh, lost to in his first fight. I can't believe I'm missing all these names, man. I just, I was thinking about his name, but anyway, dude, man, Ruslan, uh, Shigaev, man, he, White Tyson. <laughs> Man, that, that that's another thing. The White Tyson thing. He had the White Tyson. It's funny. Like, he was the only one, man. This other dude uh, had that name, Tyson. And he ended up losing. You know what I'm saying? But they had the power, though. They had the power. They had some knockdowns, man. So the guys out there uh, that was uh, using Tyson, you know, as the nickname and stuff like that. And, um, You know, they did get some knockdowns, but... Uh, Lucas Brown, he finished strong, man. I don't think he has it. Kill, Lucas Brown doesn't have the killer instinct. Okay. Um, let me see if I can find this dude, man. Yeah, Lucas Brown doesn't have the uh, killer instinct. And um, like I was saying with the tattoos, he, I mean, he looks menacing. Dude's like... What was it like six six or something like that? You know what I'm saying? Then you look at his record. Let, let me go back to Mikael Kessler, man. What the hell? Okay, thank you, thank you. Who do you first lose to? Um, yeah, Joe Calzaghe. Joe Calzaghe. 
when Mikel Castle lost to Joe Gonzaga, like right after that, he had like a sleeve or something like that, you know, on his arm. You know what I'm saying? The tattoo and stuff like that. But man, big ups to Lucas Brown, man. Big Daddy Brown. <laughs> he came up big. But uh yeah, man, I think Lucas Brown was saying he liked to be uh seen as like a nice guy. You know what I'm saying? As far as the tattoos and stuff like that. He looks menacing. I think this guy's like an ex con or something like that. I don't know if he is or he isn't, it doesn't really matter. But he was talking about, yeah, I would like to be seen as a family man. You know, when I pass on or whatever like that, I want to be seen like a, a nice person and stuff like that. And I'm thinking like, what? And then when I saw like in the first like couple of rounds, you know, I'm thinking to myself, you know, Lucas Brown's, you know, he's he's just shape, man. He's a big guy. He's a shape. He's not flabby. Uh, Ruslan uh, Shagai, he's got maybe like a little bit of fat on his tummy. But other than that, you know, these guys are in shape. You know, he's looking in shape, man. He's out there boxing. But I didn't see any, any like, aggression. You know what I'm saying? I didn't see, like, authoritative jab or anything like that. And so, yeah, uh, I was thinking to myself, I was like, man, you know, this guy seems kind of, like, uh, soft. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was thinking. Look, like, man, this dude is soft, bro. I was like, oh, what's what's going on? I was like, why is you know, but I I, I it was it was it was a smart move because these guys were mentioning that he's like, you know what, well, maybe Lucas Brown is uh is um you know placing you know just boxing, you know what I'm saying? Maybe this is all part of the game plan to get Ruslan uh guy of um you know late. And I was thinking like, yeah, it's probably true, but. Um, still, it, it, he wasn't even going to the body if that was the case. He wasn't doing any body shots or anything. He wasn't taking any chances, you know, trying to, uh, you know, uh, pity pat on top and maybe, you know, land some good shots to the body. He was moving around the ring very well. Um, Rulon guy was cutting off the ring pretty good, too. But yeah, man, um, uh, Lucas Brown, man, 6'6", six, six, um, uh, not a long reach, um, I I don't know where he goes from here. I uh, I I don't know. Does he have the belt now? Yeah, he's got the, he's got the belt. Uh, he's gonna have to defend it, man, because you know he's in the WBA um, heavyweight tournament. So yeah, man, good for him, man. Congratulations to him, man. Uh, congratulations to him. Yeah, c- congratulations. To, um, you know Lucas Brown. Uh, so man, it's um. I don't know if it's Luis Ortiz next. I don't know, man. Uh, looks like Luis Ortiz is next. But, damn, I, I didn't even see the results of that fight. I just caught that um, on box rec. So, anyway, man, I'm going to have to uh, follow up on that fight, man, to see what the hell is up, man. Look like Tony Tiger Thompson got knocked out. I want to see how he did. I want to see how he got knocked out. But yeah, man, Ruslan Shagayev, man, it's just, um, that was versus Lucas Brown, great fight, man. Um, I wonder where the hell they were, man. They were in like Ghost Off or whatever the damn place was. But anyway, wherever they were, it was um, it was a good card, man. Overall, it was a good card, man. I'm 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 enjoying the fights, man. I'm enjoying the fights. Y'all, let me know what y'all think. And um, let me give a, a second look at this, man, on Box Rick. What are they fighting? And uh, Grozny. We like they fighting in Grozny, Russia. Russia. So, I don't know. Yeah, Grozny and Russia. I, they, they was talking about the president. They was, I mean, they was naming this guy the president. I don't know who this guy is. President of Chechnya or what, man? Anyway, Grozny is in Russia, so um, Vladimir Putin, I guess he's the prime, he's not exactly the president, but he's like the prime minister or something like that. But anyway, it don't matter, man. It don't matter. Um, Yeah, man, but it's, whoever put on, whoever put on the fight, it was good, man. Whoever put on the fight it was good. I, I enjoyed the fights. But other than that, man, I'm going to end it right there, man. Yeah, this is like a little, this is a, a rant, man. Um, But other than that, man, I'm going to end it here. 
what an upset, man. This is like a good end of the day. You know, heavyweights, man, any, t- any time, any day, man, all it takes is one punch. Uh, Lucas Brown, uh, I don't know if he's going to beat Luis Ortiz, but I know he's got the power, man. He's got the power, 80, 88% knockout ratio. Dang, man, that was a great finish to um, – the heavyweight fight, man. The heavyweights, man. That's all you need is that one punch, man. You just land that punch, and bam! And he went right back to boxing, which is uh, which is very professional, man. So I think he's a cool, calm, collective guy. Um, Deontay Wilder, he has to get past uh, Alexander Povetkin, but from what I'm seeing, um, man, the future's looking bright for you know the heavyweight division. Um, I, I'm excited, man. I want to see like Deontay go against a lot of these guys, man. I want to see him go against Povetkin, uh, Tyson Fury, Klitschko. Um, you got Charles Martin. You got all these guys, man. They they just just great stuff, man. Heavyweight divisions, what's up, man? You got all these upsets and stuff like that, and these guys. Just bang, banging each other out. Lucas Brown's got the WBA belt now. Um, then I mean, Luis Ortiz he took care of business. So that's a great heavyweight matchup, man. The heavyweight division is what's up right now. Uh, all right, man. I'm gonna end it there. Uh, let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know what y'all think. I'm excited, man. All right, I'll catch y'all later. Bye.